scorching its way along a 12-mile test track in Emsland, Germany. Here and in Japan, maglev engineers are developing frictionless rail systems that propel trains at speeds up to 275 miles per hour. Wondering how you levitate one of these 60-ton rail cars? The bottom section of the train wraps around a T-shaped track called the guideway. A set of electromagnets lines both sides of the train's undercarriage. An electromagnetic field generated in the guideway attracts the magnets, lifting the train less than half an inch above the track. A second set of magnets lining the train's sides exerts a lateral force, keeping the vehicle properly aligned. If you're looking for the motor that propels the maglev forward, don't bother looking anywhere on the train. It's laid out flat along the guideway. A system of magnets, like that used on Magic Mountain's Superman roller coaster. This is, for example, another application of the linear synchronous motor. If you synchronize the changing of the poles with the motion of the train, you can keep the forces going. Train engineers aren't the only ones getting a lift out of magnetic levitation. Scientists at NASA are exploring how magnets can give the spacecraft of tomorrow a boost into orbit. One of the things that...